Now, when you think of wildlife conservation, maybe you imagine images depicting the perils of elephants, or maybe you think of polar bears. You probably don't immediately think of bugs. Without bugs, many of our food webs would collapse. Without bugs, our dinner plates would look so different. About two-thirds of our plant crops require pollination. But here's the scary part. We are experiencing a massive decline of bug populations throughout the world. One recent study showed a 45% decline of invertebrates in the last 35 years. Why then do we know and care so little about these creatures with which we share the world? One factor is cuteness. Humans are biologically wired to be attracted to cute things, like babies. This biological attraction serves the very functional purpose of compelling us to care for our young, since they can't care for themselves. But this attraction sometimes spills over into other species and helps explain why we find puppies and kittens so impossibly adorable. We like things with big heads, round cheeks, large foreheads, and huge eyes. And we just don't think of bugs as fitting this mold of cute. But let me introduce you to the jumping spider. <laughs> big head, check. Round cheeks, check. Big forehead, check. And huge eyes, check, check, check. And I could go on. If you can learn to like a jumping spider, then maybe you can learn to like other species of spiders, too, like a lynx spider or a crab spider, or maybe even an orb weaver spider. It may come as a huge shock to you, but bugs are actually really cute. And what I once knew only as something scary and disgusting and terrible has become something beautiful. And they are worthy of the same care and appreciation that we give without question to other animals like polar bears and elephants.